All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're gonna take a look and see how your person is currently feeling about you. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So just take a moment to see which pile um, is calling you, which pile is drawing your attention or catching your attention. Okay, you can pick different piles for different people. Okay, I'm just gonna close that window. I'm getting a glare on my side here. Let's see, okay, that's better. Okay, so let's start. All right, oh, if you guys are interested, I do have personal reading, so the link is down below in the description box. Okay, so let's take a look and see if you guys chose this beautiful crystal here. Oh, crystal sets are coming back soon as well. Just FYI. Okay, so how does this person currently feel about you? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh, the Tower. The Queen of Cups. The Five of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. How this person is feeling. Very intense here. Okay. Um, pile One. Give me a second with this energy here. Okay, so first of all, this is someone who has really, really like deep, 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 deep feelings for you. Very deep feelings. Um, to the point where anything you do or say like really triggers this person, it really affects them. Like you could look them, like look at them the wrong way or just say something slightly off and it's going to impact this person because I feel like they're very sensitive when it comes to you. Um, you have someone here right now who's feeling quite triggered by this connection, okay? Uh, it's like their feelings for you are very activated is what I'm getting. It's like everything is right at the surface for this person. They're very, very, very attracted to you with this Ace of Wands energy. Like this person is extremely attracted to you, but I also feel like you have some sort of a hold or power over this person emotionally. And so right now with the Five of Cups, we've got the Ten of Wands here as well. It's like there's something about this situation where they're feeling like the heaviness of this. There's feeling like there's sort of a burden here or there's something heavy about this connection. Um, I'm seeing here that this is someone who is very dedicated to you. Like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who's very focused on you. I'm not getting any third party energy. I'm not getting anything like that. I'm not getting love triangle. I'm just getting like this person's very dedicated to you. But I'm also seeing here that there's something about this connection that feels very heavy on their heart. So I don't know if something happened between the two of you. Because again, I'm not pulling like the status. I don't know the status of this connection. So it's probably different for a lot of you. So maybe some of you are with this person right now, or maybe some of you are on a break. Um, I'm just, I keep getting this sort of it's like you have this hold on this person. Like, I don't even know if you guys understand how much you affect this person emotionally. Like, you know when you're just so attached to someone, it's like anything that they do or say just impacts you. Like, that's the effect that you have on this person. Um, but I also feel like they're kind of carrying a lot of baggage with this Ten of Wands energy. Like, there's something about their past that they haven't released. And I think they're carrying it into this connection. And that's why they're so triggered all the time. Or that's why they're so, like emotionally volatile all the time because they haven't healed something from their past but this person it's like they want something with you here like i feel like they're very dedicated to you so if you are with this person like they're not going anywhere if you're not with this person they want to work on things they have a lot of love for you like they the passion for you has not died at all here at the ace of wands okay um so that's an interesting read kind of Kind of short, shorter than I thought it would be, but that's what I'm getting here, okay? So pile one, I hope that resonated. 
Let's move on to pile number two. Okay, that felt like a weird read for some reason. Okay, so we have pile number two. How does this person feel about you? We have the three of wands. We have the 10 of swords. Strength, Leo energy. We have the seven of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and we have the death card. Okay. Okay, so obviously we have two ending cards with the Ten of Swords and the Death card. We have Scorpio Energy, Leo Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so to me this feels like this person feels that you've, you aren't really that interested in them. Um, like they feel like you're walking away or you've kind of already turned your back on this person in some way. Like you're not, I'm just getting like this person is not feeling like you're that interested in them. And I don't know if it's because you made them wait with the seven of pentacles, um, getting something about waiting here. This person does want to reach out to you or they want to give to the situation, but I feel like they're trying to put up this false front um, of indifference because they feel like you're not really showing yourself too much to them. Like they're getting this impression that you're already walking away or that you're already moving on or that maybe you're not interested in them anymore. So I feel like this person, it's like they want to say something to you or they want to give to the situation, but they hold back and this is not the truth of what they're actually feeling. Like this person is putting up this strength energy, like where they're deliberately not giving but they actually deep down want to give to the situation so they're not happy about this like they see the seven of pentacles how this person is kind of waiting but she looks dissatisfied here so like they're just watching you they're observing you but they feel like you're walking away like this person is sensing that you're moving on or walking away from them um and so they're trying to act like they're okay with it This person's trying to act like they're okay with it. But they're not. I think there's a blockage here with um, the communication as well. This person has a blockage in their throat chakra. There are times where they want to say something to you, but then they choke up. Or they don't know what to say, or they overthink it. You honestly have someone here who would do anything to get you back, I feel. Like, if they feel like they've completely lost you, like, if you've turned your back, maybe you're interested in someone else or whatever, like, I feel like this person would do anything. Um, I'm just noticing I've never seen this death card. See the woman here who's kind of, like, praying? This, to me, feels like your person. But then they put up this, like... They're, see, this is someone who's trying to act like it doesn't bother them. It's trying to, they're trying to act like it doesn't bother them that you're moving on. Or that, you're walked, that you've walked away. But it really, really bothers them. And I feel like they just sit here and watch you. They just sit here and observe you. And it's like deep down, it's like in this person's heart, they're like begging for you not to go. But on the surface, they're acting like it's fine. That's why we've got these two faces here. Some of you, you may end up hearing from this person, like they may crack. You may end up hearing from this person with the Page of Pentacles coming through. Okay, so that's what I have for pile number two. So I hope that resonated with you guys. These are really short readings. It's probably because I only chose tarot cards. I was like, why do these readings feel different? But it's because I only chose tarot cards. Okay, so let's take a look at pile number three. How does this person feel about you? We have the Eight of Swords. We have Aquarius energy, the star, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, mm -hmm. and Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. Okay, so sorry, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, everything is fine. Okay, so how this person is feeling? I'm already getting Love Triangle here because we've got court cards, we've got two court cards, we've got the Three of Pentacles, so it looks like there could be a Love Triangle. Um, I 
this person really uh really 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 has a deep um admiration for you like with the star here and the eight of swords next to it this to me feels that ener feels like that energy of like this person is out of my league like this person is almost too good for me like i don't really deserve i don't really deserve someone like this like this person feels like they're at a place in their life where they they don't really deserve you like why did you even come into their life you seem to be um almost too good to be true to this person then i almost get the sense that they messed it up with you like i feel like this person sabotaged this because deep down they felt like it was too good to be true like with the eight of swords this is someone who has a lot of self-limiting beliefs like they they mess things up they sabotage themselves they get stuck in their head um they overthink things especially with the queen of swords energy here uh, I feel like for a lot of you, this person acted very cold towards you. Some of them, they might have even got you involved or kind of like tried to, even if it's not a love triangle, I feel like this person tried to make you jealous with other people or tried to give you the impression that like you weren't really that important to them or that you were just like everyone else. Like the, this person tried to make you feel like you were just like everyone else, but this is not the case. Like this is actually the opposite. It's like this person saw you in such a positive light that they didn't know how to match you. So it's almost like this person wanted to bring you down a little bit, which I don't like here. Like they wanted to make you feel maybe how they felt. Um, this person does know that you have feelings for them. So they're not oblivious to this. They know that you actually have a lot of feelings, but they never really revealed their feelings to you. Like this was very strategic. They didn't tell you how they were feeling. They kept their feelings locked up away, put away. They didn't want to tell you that. It's like they didn't want you to have any sort of power over them because you already do have this power over them. Um, but they don't want you to know that. So like if you guys are trying to hide the fact that you have feelings, they're, they're, they know. Um, but I think this person messed this up with you. So right now it's like they're trying to act like everything is fine. They're trying to just go on with their life, but they're really like stuck in their head about this. Eight of Swords, like they feel very stuck on you. Okay, for some of you, this person is getting like um, bombarded with signs of you. Like spirit is almost like trying to get this person to wake up to this connection almost in a sense. Like I think there's something about this connection that's very difficult for this person and they shut down like they don't open up emotionally and i think this connection is supposed to help them open up emotionally but they're almost running from that they're running from their emotions and they see you as someone who can just sit in your emotions like look at this king of cups i feel like for some reason this represents you okay it doesn't matter if it's what gender okay but i feel like for some reason i'm just feeling like this represents you they feel like you're someone who can just sit in your emotions like you have this strong emotional capacity you can hold your emotions you can sit in them you can feel them you can express them and look at what they do with their emotions see how they lock them up in a cup at the bottom here a little red cup at the bottom they lock them up and it's like they detach from them so I think that you came into this person's life to almost get them to feel more, but they're avoiding that lesson. They're avoiding that lesson. Okay. Don't give in to this person's games. Like don't sink to their level because I feel like they're almost trying to get you to. So don't sink to their level is what I'm hearing to say. Okay. But you do have a spiritual connection here with this person, but it's like they're not ready to honor that quite yet. Okay. So that's what I have for pile number three. So I hope that resonated with you guys. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right. Um, I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah. So the other thing too is I'm going to be getting crystal sets back. So I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other announcements. I thought there was something else. Anyways. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.